Today we're diving in how to craft the perfect Instagram bio. Because boring as it sounds, first impressions count. Having the right bio is crucial for not only attracting the right leads, but converting new visitors into new followers. So if this interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on this information. Okay, so let's go. So picture this somebody jumped onto your profile for the first time. What are they gonna check? They're gonna check your bio. This is your chance to make a killer first impression because if you do, they're gonna start to consume your content. And if they like what they see regarding your content and what's on your bio, then there's a very hard chance they're gonna click on the follow button. Now, the opposite effect, if they click on your bio and okay, go, what the hell is this all about magic roundabout? Then they're probably not gonna give you a follow. That's why it's important to implement these tips, even if you just do a couple first. First one is simply having a clear quality profile picture. This is because it creates a positive first impression. If you're running a business, it creates a professional first impression. And by doing this, this increases enhanced credibility but also engagement. And the key thing is regarding your profile picture, make sure it's a quality image and it's related to what your account is about. So for example, if you are in the fitness industry, don't have a picture of you having a drink or out partying. And a really good idea as well is to make sure you're facing the camera, not like sideways. Because if you're facing like sideways, for example, people can't really, see what you look like and if you're facing front this gives people a chance to sort of like connect with you with your eyes and your facial features and so on it would work great you know if you smiled for example or you could have like a really serious one like mine but it depends on your personality and what image you want to project across Mine's pretty serious, for example, because I want people to think when they land on my profile, okay, this guy means business and he's not gonna mess me around with the information he's gonna give me and he's gonna be quite direct, which I am. But, you know, it's up to you. And there are loads of different websites you can use and apps to help assist you create the profile picture you want and you can always have a clear background or remove the background, which I recommend um, using platforms such as Canva or these apps. The more simple and clear it is, the easier people are gonna be able to identify and relate and connect with you. So the next one is your username on your handle. And I really recommend you to keep it very simple so it's very easy to remember because Imagine if you are on a podcast, you're doing a guest podcast with somebody and say, hey, if you want to search you up on Instagram or Twitter, what's your username? And you go John underscore 5427 underscore at Burger King slash the man, blah, blah, blah. Can you imagine how difficult that's going to be for somebody to remember you and then go and check it out? The more simple it is, the easier it's going to be for people to find you and there's a great website here for example yeah which lets you search all over the internet if your username is available on multiple social media platforms how cool is that and it would be a good call if you made your handle related to your niche or what you're on about or you can do what i've done is add it more as you as a puzzle brand and just use your username because ultimately people by you, you are your brand, you are your niche, and when you become a go-to expert, an expert in what you do in your field, people are just gonna know you for what you do anyway, so it's not even needed, if that makes sense. However, I'm gonna give you a plot twist with the next tip, and I'm gonna talk about your username. So I'm talking about the name, which is below your handle. And this gives you a lot of space to add in what your account is about. This section, you might have not known this, so I'm gonna tell you, is actually keyword searchable. So for example, in mine, I have 
social media marketing. If somebody searches on Instagram in the search bar, right, social media marketing, my name is gonna pop up on that search feed because I've included it here. And if I did Instagram growth, and someone typed in Instagram growth, my name is gonna come up. And this also applies to TikTok as well and other social media platforms. So use this space to write in a couple of things, keywords, what your account is about, the niche, the subject, and don't waste it, for example, just putting your full name because a lot of people are not really going to be searching for your full name, if I'm honest, on Instagram when they want to find information. They're going to be searching the niche or the subject. If you really want to put your name in it, how about just put in your first name? Next tip is make sure you have a low following account. And the reason why I say this is because if somebody has a high amount of followers, this normally looks like they're doing a follow unfollow tactic or a mass follow tactic, which means, you know, <laughs> they're not doing that well, if I'm honest, on Instagram and they're following loads of people because they're hoping people are gonna follow them back in return and sometimes they do and this just really ruins your engagement rate and account score, which I'll talk about in another video, so go and check it out. And also, if you're following a high amount of people, this puts your account at risk because Instagram may think you are a spam account or bot account, and then your profile may be deactivated. Plus, it doesn't look that great because you know, if you're following everybody, does that mean you know you really care about your followers because you know it's just another number? So less is actually more and create a good, powerful first impression. And you should be picky who you follow anyway. And instead of thinking of follow for follow, think of value for follow. Just because somebody follows you, you don't have to follow them back. You should follow people who you know make you positive and grow better as a creator, as a person. And if they unfollow you because you didn't follow them back, then who cares, do you know what I mean? Remember, we wanna attract the right people, not just any people. Next one is make sure you have some highlights and attractive highlights is that. The reason why I say use highlights is because this gives you a chance to showcase more on what your account is all about and how you serve people. You can use your highlights to give testimonials and reviews, for example, on Social Proof. You can use your highlights to explain more about you as a person and what you do. And you could also use your highlights to promote and talk about your services. Use your highlights to advertise lead magnets. And these are just some really good examples you could do. Just think about you know, your profile, your bio as like a online portfolio. And you can use all these little elements and features to give the best first impression to increase your chances of people to follow you. I will say though, you know, don't have too many have like a range and I recommend say three to four because if you have too many, for example, this just looks really intimidating and people will be like, oh, I can't be bothered to read all that stuff. Bonus tip, if you are using the highlight feature, make sure you have some interactive engagement stickers in there because if people interact with these, then this is gonna boost really good signs to your account for the Instagram algorithm and recommend your account to more people. If you can get people to comment keywords, for example, like say this word, do do for more information, this will also make your account reach out to more people and it creates you know, a conversation starter so you can start building a rapport and build a connection with people in your DMs. Next up is make sure your content is easily identifiable and is clear and related to your niche. So when somebody jumps onto your account, they can go, right, this person is clearly talking about social media tips or growth, for example, like online and marketing. All right, and then they can start binge watching your content. If they watch a bit of your content and really enjoy it, they're gonna follow you. But if they can identify what your account's about in about three seconds, just find a quick look, right? Clarity is everything, and they're gonna give you a follow if they like what they see. If they jump onto your account and it's scattered all the, over the place of random cat memes, and they have no idea what your account is about, they're gonna be really confused here, right? So they're not gonna, probably follow you because they're like, oh, I'm not sure about this, it's a bit suspect, or a bit sus, right? And then they're just gonna follow somebody else. So just make sure your content is clear. So now, as we've got these elements out of the way, let's dive in deep to the actual text on the bio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down. 
So the first line on your Instagram bio, write a statement that says what your account is all about. So for example, you could say, I help busy mums over 30 lose weight and feel awesome. I could write, I help creators and entrepreneurs grow on social media and monetize, generate more income. Now this is important because it tells people straight off the bat, so who you help and how you can help them. This could also include or hint the results you could give someone. That way when someone jumps onto your profile, they understand exactly what you do. And because you are doing this, these keywords are also going to help you get discovered not only on Instagram in the search bar, but also on other search platforms like Google, making you become more discoverable, meaning you can get more reach and more followers. So to summarize the first line again, who you help and how can you help? The second line should be how you're going to help somebody when they jump onto your profile. So for example, if you're a personal trainer, you could say, well, nutrition advice, workouts, and motivation. This gives people an idea what they're gonna get when they start to consume your content. So we've done a niche statement, and then we're saying how we can help you or how we can help people, then which leads to the next line, which is authority statement or credential. So something you achieved, something you've done on a social media platform, for example, just to give yourself a bit more authority. And if you can fit it in, add a call to action as well. Follow to level up, for example. Follow for more tips. Follow for this, follow for that. Give people a reason or nudge them to follow you because this will help you convert better. Just remember when people are jumping on your profile, they are looking at you and thousands of other people. So. You know, have an authority statement. You can add a bit of humor if you want. You can make your profile stand out and make you seem more unique, especially in your industry or niche. And if you are a small account or a new account, this is even better because it will work in your favor. Because don't forget, a lot of people who do have loads of followers on other social media platforms may only just be starting. So just because you have a low follower account doesn't mean you don't know what you're talking about. So let people know what you're doing, who you are and what results you can give people. This includes, you know, other social media platforms like your TikTok followers, your YouTube account, for example, client testimonials, what you've achieved in your business and so on. Now let's think about the link in your bio because having a link in your bio can help people learn even more about you. For example, you have a multi-link bio people can check out your other social media platforms or your products and services in their own time. If you have a link in the bio, you can link it to a lead magnet because you should never put all your eggs in one basket relying on one social media platform, let alone social media to grow your account or accounts or business. And having an email list is essential because no matter what happens to these social media platforms, right? No matter what happens with your business, no matter what happens to you in your life and your personal life, yeah? you've got an email list, you can always contact these people regarding what you do, your life, your products and your services. So you can add an email list or email lead magnet as a link in your bio. And this is a really good effective strategy to help build up trust. If you're gonna have a link in your bio, make sure it's a nice, clean, tidy one and make sure it's not some dirty link which looks really tacky and cluttered and you can do this or change this by having a .com for example or having a URL shortener which just shrinks it all down so it looks nice and tidy and professional. Now there's other ways you can change a bio in different styles but these are the best foundations to have to make the best first impression and will serve you well if you start implementing or adding these to your bio. And it may take a bit of time at first to do this, but it will be absolutely worth it. And you could even use something like ChatGPT to help you with this, which I'm gonna dive in another time. Oh, you tease Matt, I know. 
So, like this video if you found it helpful and valuable. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one.